Hey everybody, it's Pops. We're going to do a short little uh, video here on farming nether weave cloth. Um, we're here in the Outlands. Hellfire Peninsula. Um, I get here, easiest way I've found, at least from Ogremar, uh, go up to the where the blimps are. Uh, and the blimp that used to take you to un Undercity is now a porthole, so you can just Take the porthole to Undercity, and you literally come out right next to a porthole to Elfira Peninsula. And you'll come out right up here, and then you just fly down this main road, and you want this dungeon up here at the top. And if you like red, this is a cool place. <laughs> anyway, this is a good dungeon for this cloth. Uh, if you're leveling your tune or it doesn't sell for much anymore used to make the bags and sell them all the time but now i just make them and put them in my uh, guild bank you can run the instance 10 times in an hour and it says 10 times in an hour and i don't know where the cooldown starts from the last one you ran or the first one you ran but the cooldown's not very much you can do this several times a day if you want to So I, use, I usually run it to 10 times. If I'm going to come here, I usually go and run it 10 times. You'll pick up a lot of stuff here. I've already run this one twice. Um, as you can see, I ran once on Heroic and once on Normal, and I actually got a little more cloth out of the Heroic, or a little more cloth out of the Normal, but you get some, a little more purple gear from the Heroic. And you can set your... Down here is raid difficulty and dungeon difficulty. And I'm going to go ahead and keep running it on normal because we've got a little bit more cloth and that's kind of the point here. But I did get some cool some cool gear down here that I'm going to try to sell in the auction house. But this stuff, this blood scale stuff is green and it comes out of the normal. But it's uh, pretty good looking stuff if you like dressing your tune like a slut and many do. But they used to sell in the auction house. We'll, sell if they, we'll see if they uh, still do. So I go ahead and run them. You are going to pick up a lot of stuff in your bags in this dungeon. So if you have a mount that you can sell and do repairs, it helps. Because I pretty much sell every time I run through here. Sell off all the junk. Then I disenchant most of the gear. But of course that's up to you. And this is some of the stuff you're going to get out of disenchanting. And this tune's an enchanter, so I, I keep most of it. If you don't want it, you can always sell it. Um, there's another mount. This one comes from Pandarian. I think I paid about 150000 for it. This one you can buy in Dalaran, the old Dalaran. What the Christ, the Christall Song Forest. Um, they're saying here it's 20000 You can buy it straight from a vendor there in, in Dalaran. And, uh. It doesn't have the transmorg on it like this one does, but it does have two vendors, and you can do repairs and sell, and that's real handy when you're doing this dungeon farming because, especially in this dungeon, as you'll see, you pick up a lot of stuff, so you're going to have a lot of stuff. Bags fill up quick. Worst come to worst, you can throw stuff out. Uh, all right, so we're going to run through this thing and. I've already reset this. And I'll go through that in the end too, but like I said you can run in an hour. I kind of like setting my stopwatch to see how long it takes me. I race myself. But it takes me between six and a half and seven minutes normally to run through this dungeon. Solo. Yeah! This is a level 50 paladin. Uh, if you're running a lower level tune, you're not going to go through it as fast. If you're running a real low level tune, you might want to get a buddy to come uh, come run with you for a while. Split the split the takings or just some nice person that... Like I would probably run it with you if you were in my guild and wanted to get some cloth, I'll come run it with you. We blow through this stuff real quick. You can use it, if you have a taunt, you can use it to pull some stuff off to the side, because there's a lot of stuff in this dungeon. You get stunned a lot here too, and I don't have a lot of patience for it. 
If I'm getting stunned too much, I just kill them off and move on. But the more you can drag together, I guess the faster it is, I don't know. But if I'm getting stunned a lot, I just, I just kill them and move on. Like that, you can just stop and kill them and... Move on to the next group. Anybody you missed is going to follow you. These guys are pretty easy to pull together in this room. I usually kill this guy as I'm going by. So it's done. And try to drag them all back pretty close to each other. These imps will drive you nuts, but... And they don't drop anything. But... Might as well kill them because it's. They're a pain in the ass. And if you got something that'll help you run ahead of them a little bit, it it helps you from getting stunned so much. I try to pick up everybody. Might as well, right? Said if you got a taunt, it helps you to not have to run around quite so much. And if you got something that'll break a stun, you can always use that. Again, try to pull them as close together as you can. And, and area effect spell will fill a bunch of them at once. Pick up your loot. In this room... After you've killed everybody off, you gotta come over here and pull this little lever, and there's four groups that are gonna come out of the cells. They're easy to kill. Again, depending on what level tune you're running, but. Kill all four of these groups off. And you get a little cloth from them too, and you gotta kill them before you can move on. And you got a boss here to kill. These guys will stun you a lot, so I usually pull them all into this room over here and kill them off if I make it that far. Drag them over here to the wizard and, and hopefully you get a couple of imps along the way. Cause they're just irritating little shits. Pointed at the wrong room there, but the last boss. Yeah! I always kind of pull these guys together and knock them off. Because you're going to have a group of casters behind you here. Knock them out. And we head into our last room here with the last, last boss. And you can usually get all these guys to pull together around the boss. And, mustn't let him loose. and run around in circles and they'll come all together. And you can take them all out with one move. What is this? What have 
And you're out of here. This little cave entrance over here, you run over to it, run into that little fire looking deal there and sets you on fire and makes you run fast. Right back to the beginning of the dungeon, which is one of the cool things about farming this dungeon is if you have to run all the way back through the whole damn dungeon, it really slows things down. And there you have it. Alright, I'm going to pause the video here and run it a few more times. I'll come back and show you what we ended up with. and That'll be it. Peace. Alright, man. Here we are. Well, I didn't run it ten times because I just don't need that much stuff. But uh, I've run it five times. And we got, what, six, 742 cloth out of it. Which is pretty damn good. 65 of these arcane dust bunch of shards, planar essence, plus I got some gear down here that uh, I'm going to put on the auction house and I just thought it was kind of cool looking, this one's kind of bizarre, this headpiece, and it may or may not sell, if it doesn't I'll put it on fairly cheap, somebody wants it cool, if not I will, uh, I'll disenchant it, but there you go man, 742 cloth and it takes me about between six and a half and seven minutes to run through this. So it's not a bad deal if you need this cloth. And then of course, I don't know if I went through this before or not, but you just right click on your uh, right click on your portrait and go to reset all instances. Click yes, and you're ready to go again. You can do it ten times an hour, and that doesn't it seems to be pretty much every hour. I I haven't run into being stopped a whole lot. Uh, I missed a piece of leather, a piece of gear there. Anyway, that's it. I hope you found it useful. Uh, like, subscribe, follow, all that kind of stuff if you want. I certainly appreciate it. It helps me out. Check me out on Twitch. I stream there uh, Tuesday through Friday for sure. Uh, I usually start about 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if you're on WoW... Uh, if you're on Bone Chewer or uh, Dagger Spine Realm, look up Night World on the Horde site as a guild. Come check me out. Appreciate it, y'all. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace.